This is that moment when you know that it's real. We're trying to give y'all something you can feel. Stick with me cooking. Season one, episode 14. We think. It is. Okay. Guest kitchen today. We are in Bend, Oregon, which is about 250 miles uh, east of where we live, where the normal videos are. And uh, today, we're going to be making something. Mowgli's. Mildew. Mo Mowgli's. Fruit salad. Okay. And so, uh, yeah, let's get started. Big bowl, serving bowl. Cause I'm gonna. It's gonna be for three, or four people. We're gonna uh, wash our wash our apples, which I already did. And so, let's cut these up. It's really weird filming at this angle. I'm not used to that. This kitchen's definitely a little different than a little different, yes. Than the uh, belugness that we're used to. Absolutely. So let's cut these cores out like that and get all these ready. And then they come back and be like, "What the fuck are these guys doing in here?" Scares me. They've seen it. We ru I've run the world. They've seen the show. They have. Oh, we're good. So what well, we're gonna find out right well, now. Well. The hosts of this place are back. So they're back. Yeah, look at there he is. There it is. We're doing stick with me cooking episode fourteen. Oh god! In your kitchen. In my kitchen. In a guest kitchen. Yeah. Oh my god. So anyway, world, this is Joseph Burns, the owner of this house. Actually. And that is not technically. <laughs> but she's still here anyway. Technically not the owner of the house, but the tenant. Well, he's paying to live here. It's kind of like he owns it until he doesn't. <laughs> so anyway, we're just gonna be cutting up this fruit and stuff and. uh... I'm going to cut up the rest of these apples, and uh, we'll be back in a minute. Stay See you guys tuned. later. Stay tuned. Fiji. Fiji. And we're back. So, uh, apples are cut up. We're just going to cut them into squares like this. Or shapes that are close to that. Random shapes. And then dump it in the uh, serving bowl over here. Put, um, it in, put it in the old polio over there. Right in the Andrew Andrew Elliott's dad, who had polio. Who had polio? It's not funny, but it is. Yeah, it is. So, anyway, well, that's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Saw the movie Priest tonight, and uh, I mean, I don't want to give anything away, but it's about vampires. Good guys win, and there's a big train explosion. Not to give anything away, but. They find the girl. <laughs> but <laughs> not to give anything away. Not to give anything away. But I will tell you the whole plot of that story. Andy. So anyway, uh, yeah, just cutting the rest of this up. Almost done here, like so. Oh my gosh! Fuck that one. I'm gonna dump it all in here. It's like imitation crab in here. Yeah. Which it's not, because... Bingo, bango, bongo, bongo, let's take this one out, because I have a sticker on bongo, it. Bongo, schlongo, mongo, McMichaels. All right, we're going to wash these a little bit. Just keep them, keep them nice and wet, <laughs> which she does. said. Very and, uh, crudely used, overused joke, but it's still funny every time you do it. All right, uh, let's do some bananas. Aples and bananas, you know? Arples and bananas. I don't know about anyone else, but I open bananas like this. <laughs> Peel it open like a chest cavity. I'm like a fucking gorilla. <laughs> but it's faster, less messy, and it just looks cool. <laughs> Ladies and gents. It's not like the Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> I 
without cutting my finger off to freaking premarital sex. That was that was good. Hey yes. Sorry, you might want to pause that for a sec. We're good. Keep oh, we're good. We can edit it out later. <laughs> okay. Well, downstairs we'll come up and complain. Okay. So well, just, I'd like to meet them. You know, I'd like to meet them. Well, I don't. Okay. Well. Damn people. First of all, it's only 10 o'clock, 10 mm-hmm. Is that the designated quiet time? Second of all, they can. It's like my place. Second of all, they can. I don't follow it. They can suck a lot. That's probably why the people upstairs hate me. I could be it. To be honest with you, I don't care. It's okay, I hate them too. They have probably the loudest child. I mean, if we're being in honest. In modern history. I don't care about them. That kid literally yells at 90 decibels. <laughs> like, that's a hair short of Watson almost. I mean, I don't care. I'd like to meet new people. I love that Kim came and told us that. She doesn't even live here. <laughs> I'm imagining Joe sitting on the couch, or actually sitting in a chair, eating ice cream with his right leg up on his left knee, not doing anything in the world. You were almost correct. <laughs> he is sitting in the chair eating ice cream. No right foot up there? The right foot is on top of the left <laughs> foot, but not oh, the knee. Oh, he did that move then. Mm-hmm. So you were 75% correct. I understand. Well, film now. Are we still filming? No, I'm still filming. All right, so we're picking these grapes off. I'd like to thank I'd like to thank Jose and Sriracha for picking all this fruit for us. Jose and hot sauce. It's not racist at all. It's just reality. Mexicans it's... pick fruit. They it's take the reality. jobs that the rest of us don't want. And we pay them $3 an hour. And we pay them $3 and then kick them out. <laughs> And if there's any Mexicans watching, I'm sorry if I offended you, but that's life. Don't be offended. That just means that you're a woman. Bam. You have no testosterone in your body, and you're easily offended by things. (laughs) I hate women. (laughs) You're a womanizer. If anything, I'm not a womanizer. I'm a American. <laughs> I'm knows, an American that knows right from wrong. So like indirectly, you don't know how to open this peach thing. Yeah, you don't know how to open a fruit cup. That's not American. Nothing more. American. You have to open a fruit cup with a butcher knife, and that's <laughs> obviously a red flag, and that made it gross, gross noise. There it is. Mowgli's. Fruit salad. Everyone have a good night. Don't kill your moms. No, you can. <laughs>